Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another deep dive video on the YouTube channel for Auto Legends. Let's check out the most recent update 0.7.3. So in this update, we changed the tutorial a little bit. There's a new custom race track for tutorials. The new, uh, it's the same track that you might use for test drive and a uh, practice track in Speed Lab. And there's a new car that you have access to, but Little heads up, the only way to get that new car is to play the player tutorial, which I think was a mistake. Uh, just we forgot to enable it for the car lot. <laughs> but I think it's kind of cool also, at least for the initial release of the car. So anyway, let's get right into the first, uh, the new tutorial and show you the new racetrack because I think it's pretty sick. We've also been working a lot on controls for the game, like keyboard controls and such, to try to make it more fair between mobile and PC. Mobile is not available to the public yet. Um, that's coming during beta, but at least for right now, that's kind of what we're looking for, is to try to figure out what makes the game feel good. So. What you'll notice real quick is we start on this new track, and this new track is awesome. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. The visuals are amazing. But, you know, here we go. Tutorial mode. I told you I'd find you a sweet ride if you ever landed back here, but it's been so long, I'm not sure if you can still handle something fun. So let's take Daniel's car here, Daniel's little Subaru, out for a quick race. And I'm going to show you the keyboard controls. I'm not going to... I can still click the gas pedal, but I'm going to show you the keyboard controls. Some of you who are from Racing Rivals, as we tweak it, you'll notice uh, some changes and some similarities. Um, the drop launching is a little bit similar, as well as just the overall feel of it revving up feels very similar. So that's if you want to use the keyboard controls. You do still, at least in this update, have the option to use the mouse and the slider, and that's what a lot of people are still defaulting to. So, just like the old days, let's go. We'll get to the second race here, and then when we get to the Honda Prelude, or Honda Prelude, oh my god, that's not the new car. That is not the new car. I wish that was the new car, but we have a lot of Hondas in the game. Well, we have what? Three Hondas, four Hondas in the game right now? Civic Type R, Civic DX. Oh, I think that's only two. And then the other cars I'm thinking of are Acura. So Acura Integra, Acura Integra Type R, and then we have the Acura NSX. So you are supposed to lose this race, so this is not a big deal. You know, whatever, it happens. You don't always win your races. That's just not how it works in real life. So if you go racing, boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing. Good enough. So we're going to go pick our first car. This is a ton of fun. But we're going to pick our first car here. So you might already see the first or the new car. But you do get the choice of three different cars here now when starting up a new fresh account. You can grab a Civic DX, an Integra GSR, or my new favorite, the Ford Probe GT. This thing is so freaking cool. I am so happy this is in the game. And it looks so good. So, fun fact. Um, little fun fact for you guys about the Ford Probe and its history in video games. It has only ever officially been licensed in, I think, two other games in history. This is only the third game. Um, it, it's crazy that we got this car. I think it's absolutely awesome that we have something so obscure and so unique so anyway we're gonna go do the third race um basically the rest of the tutorial is the same as it was before where you run this race you lose you go put nitrous on your car you come back you win and then you go street racing at sixth street so i'm gonna pause this so we can get further into the video a little bit more quickly and i'll show you guys more of 0.7.3 overall so this is the final race of the tutorial, and I think it would be cool to show what this thing runs with just like the 50 shot of NOS. So we're going to run this final race of the tutorial here. Uh, bad start, but that's okay. So what we figured out, especially with head-to-head -head versions of this, 
What I really like about this car, and I've kind of figured we'd take this to be a deep dive of 0 0.7.3 just overall. What I really like about this car is it's another one of those cars where maximum horsepower is not best horsepower. Now, obviously, we are still in alpha. That kind of mentality can change, especially with how the game evolves. But I really like that so far the community, it seems like everybody has a different setup for this car. A hey, Teddy and Rice Crispy. Ooh, now I want a Rice Krispie treat. God, I'm so fat. I'm not, but I act like I am. So there's the Daniels races that are back, which is pretty cool. But let's go back home, and I'm going to check out just the Ford Probe. Oh, yeah, daily challenges were added, or daily login rewards were added, which is pretty cool. There's also daily challenges where, like, win, a, win four races, you get this reward. Win a Daniels race, get this reward. It, you know, your standard daily kind of stuff, which is pretty sick. And then there's also the friend list. And the option menu has kind of changed a little bit. There's an inbox for if you get, like, prizes or anything. Your player profile, we now have followers and fame level. So followers, that's kind of like a uh, oh, did, reputation sort of thing. But you basically gain this. It's kind of like EXP. So if you look at daily challenges, you can get three fame from each thing you complete, which is pretty sick. I paused for a moment because everybody where I live basically just doesn't have catalytic converters on their car, which is really dumb. We do still have the little button to get money, but I think we're going to remove that next update. We do have vehicle conditioning now, uh, so you do have to repair your vehicle every, I think it's like five or six races. Um, I'll have to double check on how that changes with stock versus, you know, uh, modded out car. We do have dial in now that you know what this means is we have bracket racing, which is pretty sick. Now we have changed the math algorithm for this a little bit because 20 is not correct. Obviously I'm going to put it to like 15.7, I guess. I don't really know what I should actually put it to. We do have leaderboards as well, which is pretty sick. Uh, you can see like best quarter mile times, um, best quarter mile trap speed. I like this leaderboard. This is a cool idea. And then number of wins. Jesus Christ, this dude just... Okay. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool update. So let's go to the main map. So like I said, the Ford Probe is brand new and the only way to get it is to do the player tutorial. But if you're interested in the biggest part of this update, which is bracket racing, where do you go? Well, I like to modify my car a little bit first before I get into bracket racing, but I'll save that for a different video of actually building the Ford Probe. So you want to go to hangers if you want to experience bracket racing. So here we are, hangers, and you can see my dial-in is here, and I'm going to click that. And overall, we have changed this movement speed up a little bit, by the way. Um, that'll be a future update. There's some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline. You can see I'm right here. You know, I can see my own car, but let's say I want to race Ken. I'm going to do just a private challenge. So it happens immediately. That's basically the difference. Private challenge is it happens ASAP. You don't have to wait in the queue line for a public race. Public race is basically people that are in the spectator mode can see you race, which is awesome. So, we're going to do this race real quick. We are still working on the loading times, trying to get things down uh, and a little bit faster. So, don't worry about that. But here we are running a 3000 GT. I want to say it's an SL. It doesn't look like a VR4. I believe that's an SL. So, bracket racing is going to take a whole nother video to explain. But at this point, at least. You do still have to launch your car yourself here. This track does not do automatic launching. It only does manual. So we're going to hit the NOS real quick, finish the race, and I think my dial-in was good enough. That guy was really slow. And, yeah, what do you know? I won, which is sick. So 
<laughs> That's a perfect 17099. Heck yeah. So anyway, love it. That's bracket racing. That's kind of the biggest update to this. There are some visual issues with the probe that'll be fixed in the future. There's some other issues that we know about with bracket racing player versus player. Um, those will be fixed in the future. It's a lot of stuff that was very difficult for us to test internally because you almost have to get it into the hands of a dozen or more people to sometimes know what's going on. So with that, that's pretty much the extent of this update. And I'm going to make a video of a deep dive about the Ford probe. I'm thinking about injecting facts into car specific videos in the future. I might try it with the Ford probe just to see what you guys think. Let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the deep dive of just 0.7.3 overall. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out.